I have uh, been able to adapt to the current real estate market uh, pretty well. I've made some, uh, a little tweaking. I've been doing virtual open houses. Facebook Live virtual open houses. Zoom, uh, Facebook Lives that I never thought I would do. We did a lot of Zoom meetings with clients. Pre-listing walkthroughs virtually where the homeowner takes me through their house via their uh, phone and just lets me look around. We create an event on Facebook. We invite people to sign up. We send out reminders days before the event. And on the day of the event, we go live from the property and we take our time walking through the entire house, inside and out, giving people uh, an up close and personal look. Um, time to do some of the stuff that we've put off for a long time. Started to enhance my website, figure out a better way uh, to make my website stand out. Building a, um, a good database of, of past clients and um, and reaching back out to them to see how they're doing. We really worked on connecting with um, former clients and our clients I haven't spoken to in a long time just to check on them and see how they were doing. We've increased our commitment to professional photography and full motion HD video home tours. Thing I wanted to let people know that I was here for them. Really spending time on relationships um, both at home and with, with clients and friends. So instead of my clients driving with me, I drive myself and I allow my clients to drive their own cars and follow me and they're really okay with that. We're providing masks and shoe coverings to our sellers that they can make available at the front door for buyers that arrive for a showing without them. So um, keep Keep moving forward, uh, adjust, um, don't feel silly in a mask. Using masks and using that foot coverings to go in the houses. And so I stress it in the beginning uh, for them to make sure that they bring their masks, uh, bring their gloves, and definitely bring some uh, antibacterial hand wipes. I, I feel like it's something that is gonna continue as we move forward even outside of this virus time. Um, when we're going into homes, I just make it um, important for them to know that we are going to practice social distancing by staying at least six feet apart. The clients and the agents and everyone appreciates um, what everyone has, has really done to help this situation. So I find that as long as I inform my clients in the beginning how we're going to proceed and move forward with uh, touring homes, um, they accommodate uh, fairly uh, well. Uh, while I'm here uh, and while I'm a realtor, I'm going to do my very best uh, to, to be the best realtor I can. And I'm here to tell you that DeSoto County real estate remains strong. It's, it's a different market, but uh, there's still deals to be had. Our market has really stayed strong through everything. Uh, real estate is essential and we're not going anywhere. I feel confident that the real estate market is gonna to continue to stay strong. We are seeing sales all over the county in every area and at every price point. Right now, our, our, you know, it's all multiple offers and uh, it's just craziness. And we just have a different way of focusing uh, on, on our business now. Real estate, uh, uh, selling homes, I mean, it's, it's a necessity. People need a place to live. They need a place to call home. And I have sold um, houses recently to people who um, who are not working at the office, who are at home, or uh, people who are, um, who are on the front lines. Just working through things and having faith that everything is going to be okay. So as long as uh, individuals are still selling their homes, buyers are willing to buy, we have every reason to continue to be optimistic. So anyways, I love you and uh, keep at it.